You got me a muffin in my hand? Alright. What's up, guys? Welcome to another retreat. We're here. Hey, guys. Say hi. What up? That was, that was terrible. Beyond Bill? That, that, <laughs> that was, what is that? Okay, people aren't excited people to be are here. People are dehydrated. I'm excited to be here. Who's excited to be here? you excited to be here? I'm going to You want to do, you want to do a walk through with yeah. me? Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Right. We go, guys. Right. This, is, this is the most outrageous, <laughs> glamorous, phenomenal, delightful house you've ever seen in your life. Come on. Is it the best um, one? Yeah, yeah, I would agree, yeah. You think so? Yeah. If you've ever seen an episode of MTV Cribs, this is basically what's about to happen. So if we spin the camera around, look at the, like this is just a playground for children. But instead of children, you got 32 very athletic, anabolic human beings who are gonna have the that time of their fucking life. Fuck. Yeah. Look, you got a fucking ping pong table, and you're like, I don't want to you know play ping pong. All right, we'll just go down and play putt putt. I don't want to play putt putt. All right, I'll go shoot some hoops on the basketball court. Fuck it, and then I'm gonna jump in the pool. I love how you say what more do you want? That's oh, yeah, cool, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. We're in Las Vegas. Uh, We're in the desert. So it's really hot out, but I'll tell you something about the desert. The desert's the best place for a retreat. It's hot, so you have a pool. In the nighttime, it's kind of cool. It's a fantastic time. Dragon's Lair is here. We're gonna get some sick training sessions in this weekend. We're also gonna have an award ceremony. One of these people are gonna win an award this weekend. Who's it gonna be? Is it gonna be you? Is it gonna be you? Dude, you know we might be giving out a mustache award at the, at tonight, tomorrow night? I don't know how I'm gonna compete with you. Dude, no, you win. Clearly. Oh, he, yeah, you won. Oh, oh no, I, this isn't even a mustache. That's a mustache. That's proper. Hey, don't don't diss yourself. You're beautiful. Dinner night. What else do we have going on? I don't know. We're gonna find something to do, of course. Megan's over there on a basketball court getting steps in. What an athlete. RJ, what do you got to say, man? Um, I'm just here so I don't get fined. Jesus Christ, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> I was always shut down um, growing up, and so like for me now. Today is Friday. We're going to train at Dragon's Lair in like 45 minutes, and then we're gonna come home and chill. And tonight we're going to a super fancy dinner on the Strip. I think it's like an Italian restaurant, so I'm super excited about it. What's currently happening right now? Currently, we're having a round table outside. A couple of us are just chilling inside eating just breakfast, yeah. but we made an event fresh, out of sitting yeah, outside around a ping pong good. table and just mm -hmm. chatting. What's up? Everyone's back. I'm back, baby. How's it feel? The party starts. Back? Dude, it feels great. It's been way too long. Upgrades everywhere for this team. It's insane. So many people, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just walking around. I, don't know. I just walk around. I don't know so nobody, man. Like, <laughs> but it's good. I love it.
gym really really cool session this morning you know I think a lot of people were able to take away so much and learn so much and it's really cool to have that in-person experience even with posing with people it goes such a long way for people so the team workouts I feel aren't like the highlight of the events that we do but a really important piece of them and it's fun to see everybody yeah. come together train together help each other out build relationships in the gym it's always fun watching that uh, but now we're just gonna cook hang out by the pool, get ready for team dinner tonight. We have a nice Italian dinner with the whole team tonight. Uh, that's gonna be great for bonding, but I think what's really gonna be special about it is that we're giving away a total of eight awards uh, and four Transformation Challenge winners, so $6,000 in cash prizes, uh, which is gonna be super, super cool, super impactful. I mean, these people have worked so hard from December all the way to May now to be able to make this change happen for them. And so regardless of the outcomes, like everybody here won. Everybody here is working towards something, and that, that alone is the I think what Truth is, people don't really care about winning the transformation challenge. It's not what our community is about. It's about helping one another. So we're all going to be so happy for the winners tonight. Probably going to be high on emotion. I think it's going to be something really special, something that I'll always oh, cherish for a very long time. I know the clients will very much cherish these moments for a very long time, and that's what it's all about. So, so it's going to be super, super fun. It's going to be unforgettable for sure. And I'm very excited to see uh, how everyone reacts. Um, to the award winners tonight. I know it's going to be a very fulfilling feeling, so I'm really excited. It's fantastic. This is cooking with far. Cooking with far. Bro, it's never changed since August. It's always far. I got the shine up in the sky. Okay, so you're going to, you're going to swing your head this way. Don't step anywhere. He's got my heels on. And then you're going to step <laughs> that like that. This is good. <laughs> This is straight. Yeah. Okay. Little flip to the hair. There. Oh. Look at Chad's face. <laughs> oh, Barb. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not, I'm not even kidding right now. Those make your legs look bigger. Yeah, they do. Yeah. That's what they do. Quads are popping, bro. Yeah, like I'm impressed. Yeah. Men's, men's wellness. Men's wellness. Fuck men's bikini. We got the Spice Girls right here. <laughs> right now? Is that what we're doing? Or you hold off to it? Man. I mean, what are you doing? I mean, I, I can drink one right now. Okay, I'll drink one right now. Oh, hell yeah, alright. Yeah. Yeah, cheers, brother. There's so much back and forth, man, about trying to decide if I'm gonna drink Oh, you had one the whole time! Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo. Yo, yo. Wait, is this highly alcoholic? Gotta sneak up on you. It tastes like juice. Where'd you guys get the soda? What are we doing, RJ? Well, he wanted to grab We're about to go to dinner. We're about to go to an award ceremony. And we all look beautiful. Look at all these people. Look how beautiful everyone looks. Yes. We're, we're, coming out. we're waiting for Ubers. We're too small. It's called in the restaurant. Oh my god. Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the ceremony of awards. The second, no, this is the third ceremony of awards beyond both sides. Progressively gotten better. The first one wasn't very professional. This one's pretty professional. <laughs> this one's pretty professional. No, but hey, come on. Here, let me show you something. Let me show you something. Come on, man. 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 
Look at this. This is all Farshad's doing, so thank you, Farshad. We have tables, we have a buffet. Look at this. We have vegan Mediterranean pasta. Fancy food. Way too fancy for me. Mixed vegetables, roasted potatoes, grilled salmon, chicken and artichokes, New York steak, buffet style for the family, and then what are these? I guess we're supposed to stand here and give awards away. It's gonna be cool, but I think that, I, I just genuinely love, love being able to put something together like this for the experience for the clients. I mean, let alone, like so many people are having so much fun dressing up and expressing themselves through dressing up for an event like this. And that alone is it's so cool. You know, I, I think for me, like I've always loved excuses to like dress up and go do things. So it's cool to like host it for these people, but this is what this, this night's all about. It's all about them. Um, it's all feel good stuff. Welcome to the night. It's gonna be a fun time. So just to kick this off, this is what I wanted to do. I just wanted to give a massive shout out to Kayla stand up. Hyman's already standing up. These people right here. This all started with just a little dream, <laughs> you know, in, when I was in college. Uh, at the time, I was going for marketing and business and just trying to find my way. Uh, and then that's where I started getting my own fitness journey and had the opportunity to help other people touch their lives free. And being able to just feel that impact for the first time in my life is exactly why this is possible. Um, but it's not just because of me, it's because of these people right here. Uh, it's meeting far in 2020. It's Lana and RJ both joining the team in 2020. It's literally taking one of the biggest risks in my life along with dropping out of college and hiring Hanman in 2020. It's Kayla joining our team and becoming who she is today. She does so much for this team, guys. Like so, so much. She takes such good care of you guys. And like none of this event is possible without that. So I just want to say thank you personally to you guys. Like you guys have literally been like best friends to me. Um, and this is gonna get, like, we're gonna grow, obviously, but that's because of you guys and what you guys put in. And so I appreciate everything that you guys do. And I just want a round of applause for them. So I get the honor of doing the very first one. And this one's no surprise whenever I announce it because we've all been on gold calls. And who's the one person that just always goes on a TED talk? Adrian Cantu will be eating 700 cars <laughs> on a gold call and literally be preaching a sermon, talking about his love for everybody, talking about how much he prays for people. And every single time he walks into a room, he just brings so much joy. So the TED Talk Award goes to Adrian. Yeah. Y'all hugs too, man. Oh, my G. Speech. Speech. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where's your, show? give us your TED Talk, please. All right, my G too, my G too. <laughs> I can't thank God enough for just this opportunity to just be with y'all. It's just genuinely a blessing to just, just be here. I'm just so thankful. Uh, I pray everyone's doing well mentally, physically, and spiritually. I really do. I wish the best for every single one of y'all. I truly want to see y'all win at life, and uh, I'm just speechless. Uh, <laughs> that is my TED talk. <laughs> okay, so the next award is the Intensity Award. Person that trains really freaking hard. And today, I think it was, I saw her doing RDLs, and she was literally freaking shaking. It was, it was pretty freaking cool. And this goes to Jessica Post. Yeah! No. <laughs> <laughs> Can I do a speech for Do you? No. You don't? Train harder than last time. Yeah. I'll give you a hug. Could you give them one piece of advice? One piece of advice? Um, you should always throw up on like day. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. That's all.
Thank you. <laughs> so our next one is a personal favorite on the team because it just highlights the most authentic, most hardworking person who just happens to have the smallest calves. And no, it's not Jess Ramos. <laughs> Meg Hayes, please come here. <laughs> Appreciate it, of do you, course. Do you have any, any advice for us? Um, how does one grow bigger cows? I wouldn't know. <laughs> I don't have any advice for you. Uh. <laughs> that's it, that's all I got. That's, 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 the, that's the advice. I mean, it's a gift. Maybe yeah. if I could just train as hard as Jess. We'll see. We'll try. Maybe. Maybe. It's a gift. <laughs> There's something you're born with. <laughs> I'm telling you, she <laughs> better with bigger cows. So I get to give this to the person who probably, since he's been with us, has arguably made the biggest difference. Is just purely a client. He comes from the other side of the pond, and all he does is bark. Like more than him, which I think is hard to believe. So the hype man award goes to my friend Dan Gerney. Dad, come on! Come here, come here, son. Oh, thank you, buddy. And now you're the hype speech. Oh, you, oh, you did it last year. You, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. 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 You beautiful yeah. speech. Yeah, you did. I'll be here. Let's hear those wins. Let's hear it, Leonardo. Oh, God. I've got to think about this. All right. We're going to rip it. All right. Um, so, no, everyone here has some of the most incredible potential that you could ever imagine. And your job is to dig within, reach within, train as hard as you possibly can. Embrace one another, express yourselves, and have the best goddamn days, weeks, months, years of your life. And everyone that's part of this community has it within them. So let's just go out there, let's enjoy tonight, let's celebrate one another, celebrate those goddamn wins, let's shout from the rooftop! Woo -woo! Let's go! He's just taking other people's words. That's just me. It's you. This one's an honor. This one's an absolute honor. I, I really don't know where to begin with this one, but it has become probably one of the most popular statements within Beyond Built recently. And the truth is, like a lot of you guys have very open hearts and express to one another, to your coaches, and it's so beautiful. But the man who does it the most, the man who just continually is always in his bag, <laughs> that's Stefan. <laughs> Dude, it literally says your name and it says the In My Bag Award. My God. I want to put this up. I want to put oh, some desert word. Yeah. <laughs> that's incredible. Dude, that's insane. Yo, it's better than anything my, Microsoft could never. Yeah. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Hey, Do you have any words? Do you have any words? Um. <clears throat> I, <clears throat> so, I really don't have a lot of words. Um, you know, I bees in my bag. <laughs> honestly, I, I couldn't be in my bag if it wasn't for every single person in this room, whether you're a client or whether you're a coach. So I appreciate it and I love being on this team. Uh, you guys motivate me and support me to you know, be a better version of myself. So I'm always in my bag because we are always in our bag. So, <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> Improved athlete. And I have a little bit of a story that I want to share. Um, I think it was about a month into the program. Um, this client had already been crushing everything. And there was an opportunity that opened. And there was a ticket to the San Diego retreat. And one month in, he decided to come. Um, and we got on a call just to kind of catch up and just to kind of talk about what was going to happen at the retreat. And I told him what went down. And the funny phrase that he said at the end of the call was, RJ, I don't do emotions. <laughs> and I just laughed. I didn't say too much. I just told him to come with an open heart and open mind and, you know, to get the most out of this. 
and he did. He came to the retreat in San Diego. He asked questions. He had conversations with everyone. He was vulnerable from the start, and I know it was really difficult for him. Um, but after that, since that retreat, he's gained 10 pounds of muscle. He's started to do things that he love, loves. He did jujitsu. He's currently doing hockey. And he's just absolutely crushing in all aspects of life. And the most improved athlete award goes to Kyle. Come on, bring it in. Bring it in. Oh my God. My mustache brother. Here's my. Don't call him Alana. Dude, it looks beautiful. Have some faith. <laughs> oh my God! Absolutely. Hanan, baby, bring it in. Come on, Papa. Very <laughs> bad. I was actually about to call my Uber and go home. So, um, I'm just grateful for all y'all. This has been like the best few months of my life. You know, it has been awesome. It's been cool to get to know everybody. I made some incredible friends. Uh, I mean, shit, I've been hanging out with people and like, I got to work out with uh, Chelsea on Virginia. So like, it's just awesome people I get to see and it's not just the retreats, we get to hang out. So, love y'all, appreciate everybody here and uh, excited for more to come. So we have one more and I'm gonna start this story back in July of 2021. Hanman came to visit with this wonderful human being who from the moment she got there, she didn't want to hug. And then I asked her a couple questions at dinner and she goes, it's really not that deep part. And I was like, she, and then put back whatever amount of drinks it was that night. But I think the thing that's been cool is she came to the Phoenix retreat and we had a conversation. And then from that conversation, I watched someone go from guarded and unexpressive to super emotional, wanting to connect with everybody and showing who she is. And then a few months ago, she decided she wanted to work within what we do. And to see someone evolve the way she has and to watch someone have such an impact on not just our culture internally, like as coaches and as a team, but like all of you guys, it's very heartwarming to see someone step into who they're meant to become. And I know she's gonna be a great athlete, much like I believe that about Meg and all of you guys that are competing. She's gonna be one of the greatest we've ever had. So the cultural impact award goes to Kayla. I'm crying because I've seen how much I've changed within the past nine months and I think it's so cool to be part of a team who literally does this for every single person. I feel like once each one of you started Beyond Built, you can say that you are a completely different person than who you are right now and I just think it's I just think I'm super blessed to be in this position to where, you know, I can help you grow and help you become the best version of yourself so that you can do that for someone else. Um, that's what Far did for me, that's what Chad did for me, that's what all of you have done for me. You know, y'all showed up for yourselves, became the best version of y'all so that y'all could help people like me who were lost for a long time. So thank you all. Thank you. I'm going to do the transformation winners. I have two people. The first person, I'm gonna give you guys a little backstory. This girl probably, between her and Riley, these people alternate when they talk to me. So if it's not Riley, it's this other girl. And I've watched her be with us, I think for almost two years now, and she's completely changed as a human. Let me just tell you, like the first time we talked, it was like three seconds. And now there's time she just doesn't stop talking, which is crazy to even think about. But she's lost over 20 pounds. Um, I've not seen, and I think Chad would agree, I don't think we've seen many people who like, the moment you give them a task, checks the box in every aspect that we ask. So our transformation winner for fat loss is Caitlin Podcroft. <laughs> I wouldn't be anywhere near where I'm at today without joining Beyond Bell and this family. I came into this being super unexpressive as far as said and just afraid to show emotion. 
and by believing them believing in me first allowed me to start this journey to now be able to believe in myself so that's what has gotten me here and i can't say like how much i really appreciate them love you guys <laughs> The gentleman who recently joined probably how long ago, Chuck? Not too long ago. December. December. Right when this right when, right when this started. And I think one of the coolest things to me is like we're both from the same state. We both have similar backgrounds, but it's someone who I remember watching come in and having his challenges with whatever disability that maybe to the outside was perceived one way, but to see someone just step into them and be like, this is part of who I am and it's not a reason to hold myself back. I think that's been the coolest part. He's lost 20 pounds, he's a savage. Like I get videos and he's like, I'm like, this looks perfect. He goes, I don't think so. And I'm like, wow, I'm a Nazi when it comes to how your form should be and he might be worse than I am, which is phenomenal to me. So our second transformation winner is Daniel Chan. <laughs> Dude, I'm off of words. Yeah, bro. Congrats, man. Good shit. Let me get everyone out of here. Everybody's gonna cry. This is beautiful. This is yours. This is yours? This is also yours. You can't catch it. <laughs> you will get it. <laughs> No, honestly, I'm speechless because, like, when joining this entire team, um, I was still at a point in my life where I was kind of lost. And when this entire challenge came out, when this entire transformation challenge came out, and I was like, dude, like, if others can do it, why can't me? Why can't me? And I, te I remember texting Chad, telling him that, yo, I'm all fucking in. I'm going all in. And... I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I appreciate you showing this to one of y'all. I'm like not 90% pulled together now. Uh, this award's cool. This is the third one. Uh, this one goes for female body composition transformation challenge winner. I've seen this woman. From the start of this year to now, step in to her most authentic self, and you spend three seconds around her, she's gonna brighten your day. It's just who she is. And the impact that she's been able to make with not only this team, but another team of, of, that's actually in this room that I very much look up to, very much look up to in what they're doing. It just goes to show how high quality of a person this is, but also how goddamn yoked she is. <laughs> and how she's gained a solid 10 pounds since joining the program. And she finally got eight more reps on her leg press. Linnea Whitelaw. <laughs> not prepared. I'm not, I'm not prepared for this one. Uh, the, the, the thing is, this whole entire room knows this story. This whole entire room knows this story. And I remember when this person sent the most like inspiring scholarship application where it really came down to like both this person and Chelsea Song, who we all know and love. Give it up for Chelsea Song, who's not right, here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one, I just love these check-ins. Dan had the opportunity to read one of these check-ins the other day. It literally lights me up every single week. And the truth is, like when I look at Beyond Built and the name Beyond Built, like, it's, a, it's just a powerful name. And the truth is, it's an embodiment. You know, all of you guys are beyond that. It's who you guys are, and especially this individual. I remember when it was a Zoom call with no face for at least the first three months, 
that turned into showing up, expressing himself, posting a two minute long dance video in the <laughs> Facebook group. And this individual went from 110 pounds to 130 pounds. And has truly been able to step into his most confident self. And the truth is, when he joined this team, he knew he had a lot of work to do. And that's his favorite part of the whole entire journey. His favorite part of the entire journey. He loves to work. And to be completely honest, like, it's working with the individuals like this that really remind me why I'm here and why I do this. Um, so, one, I really appreciate you. And two, congratulations to see. No. Wait, take this, take this, take this. Forgot you. This oh. part's really cool. <laughs> yeah. On that note, guys, just... I said this earlier, like, we gave away eight awards in total. And the beautiful part is about this community and this family is we all know that, like, the awards, it's not, it's not about that. You know, the truth is all of you guys are here seeing your teammates win. And that feeling alone is really special. And being able to see all of you guys support one another each and every single day with the individual messages that you guys text each other, the phone calls, the Zoom calls, everything. Like, we are a family. We are beyond built. And none of this is possible without each and every single one of you guys. And each one of you guys have impact. And to see each and every single one of you step in to say, hey, I do have impact. I believe in my impact. This is who I am. And step into your authenticity. The rest takes care of itself. You guys want it. You guys have high standards. They take care of themselves. Because you guys are stepping into who you are. And all of you are worthy. That's, that's facts. All of you guys are worthy. <laughs> And each and every single day, you guys are getting better. That's the truth. So I want each and every single one of you to walk away from this weekend and remember that. That every day you are getting better. And it doesn't only have to be in one way. There's a ton of different ways that you guys can get better. And you make everyone here better. You do. If you guys look at the person on the left or right of you, they will tell you Something that they really appreciate about you. That's special. Really special. You guys are family for life. Family for life. And I mean that. I just want to say thank you to all of you. And give a round of applause to yourselves. That's all I got. Thanks for watching the vlog. Like, like subscribe. You know, follow me on TikTok. <laughs>